Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a quick, unconventional, functional training push pull day. I know that was a mouthful, but just think push pull functional. That's it. So we're actually starting off with a reverse walk on the treadmill just to get the patella tendons lubricated, warmed up, getting the body nice and just warm in different planes of motion. As you can see, I do some karaoke's on the treadmill. I go, I do a little bit of elbowing as well for some MMA mixed martial arts. Uh, fun fact, I was, a, I was an MMA fighter in the cage, amateur, um, and did dabble with some jiu-jitsu. So I love the coiling system. I love just the whole human movement aspect of things. I think it's very important when it comes down to um, not being rigid and stiff. But anyways, moving on. So we start with the landmine clean and jerk. That's our first movement here. So we're driving through the ground. We're having explosive turnover and explosive jerk. I'm simply just getting the mind and body connected and warmed up and primed for a heavier load such as this one with two plates. Um, just working on the speed. Chest is upright, eye gaze is upright. Strong turnover, strong explosive jerk. Here's a back shot of the landmine cleaning jerk. The back angle, heads up, drive through the ground, boom, clean. Forward intent, and then explode. The heels never touch the ground. I really try not to let them touch unless I rack the, the weight down. Because you want forward intent for it to transfer over into your sprints, into your throwing, and whatever, anything in your life. That's forward intent. So that is the first exercise of the landmine clean and jerk. Four to five sets, three to two reps on the left and the right make it symmetrical. Then we go into a landmine row, staggered stance. I have a I have two weights underneath my front foot in order for me to go more of a full range of motion and really feel the hammy as well as a lat lengthening position. Um, as we pull, I'm having the elbow slide into my ribs, shoulder gets retracted, and I am retracting the lat and squeezing it. And then with the pinky, I'm slowly, eccentrically letting it come back down. And I'm repeating on both sides for a total of 10 reps, chest upright the whole time. Notice I have a slight curvature in my lower back. I'm loaded into my glutes. Uh, and that is it right there, that's the landmine row. Okay, so after the landmine row, you're going into your second exercise out of the three, which is going to be ATG style dips. We're going full range of motion, try to get your shoulders to touch the bar, drive out with strong, stable wrists, eye gaze is up. We're trying to load the tendons of the triceps and get them comfortable in this shortened position, and then we're going to boom, lengthen them by extension. Uh, we're shooting for five to 10 reps, five clean reps out the bottom. If that's all you can do, that's okay. You're going to progress and get stronger. Don't try to cheat them. Don't try to chicken wing it. Full range of motion. That is what we're aiming for. That's what's going to transfer over to all our other exercises with full range of motion as well. Then you go on to exercise number three. Simply we're doing a 30 second sprint. You can work up to it and start off at 75% of what you think your max capability of sprinting is. But what you're focusing on is the mechanics. Balls of the feet making contact, scooping the ground, allowing the hamstring to work into uh, hip extension, chest upright, pumping the arms. There's a lot of mechanical work that happens within sprinting. Uh, we're gonna go for three rounds of this. Now we go back to the landmine row, dips, and then another set of sprints that you shall be doing. And every time, you're just gonna get a little bit better a little bit faster with the sprinting. Um, just mechanics and foundations are what we're looking for. And then we move on to the second 
block of three exercise. Okay, so first exercise of the second block is going to be a TRX row into a scapular retraction. What I really want you to focus on here is to keep the elbows tight on the initial row. And you're also going to keep a lat spread when we do the retraction and slowly bring ourselves back down. The lat spread and the breath work together is what's going to expand and get that mind to muscle connection to your posterior chain, right? So make sure that you're breathing. Breathing into it is the key to this exercise. We're gonna go for 10 reps, nice and controlled. Notice, as I come down nice and controlled, you see the fibers engaging and you want to breathe into them. Um, yeah, then we move on to exercise number two. So this one is lengthening the bicep and strengthening the tendon. So all we're doing here is we're hinging over and we're doing a quarter of a scoop. Hinging over, quarter of a scoop. The pressure is in my palms. That is loading the tendons of the bicep and strengthening it through lengthening it. Uh, so that's what we want to work on. Check me out. Right there, damn tendon, working the tendons right there. It's got to hit them from different angles in order to stimulate that stress to tear them so that you can, they can be rebuilt. Now they take longer to heal the muscles, but their sustainability is actually stronger than muscles. So. Lastly, we go into plate push-ups. Put a strap of plate to your back, right in between your shoulder blades, your scapulas, and we're gonna go wide grip and wide stance with the feet. We're gonna go full range of motion, boom, explode out, squeeze the chest at the top. Self-explanatory, minimal arch, squeeze your glutes, push through the ground, and stay strong on the push-ups. There you guys have it, we have the landmark clean and jerks as the main exercise. Two blocks of three exercises, block one, block two, block one, landmine row, ATG dips, and the sprints. Block two, you have the rows, the bicep hinges, and also the weighted pull-ups. Each one of those blocks, you're going for three rounds. And that is going to conclude the exercise, guys. Very quick, very efficient. You can take the three sets and make it into two. You can plug and play. It's gonna give you a lot of variety. It's a push and a pull functional exercise that you could do with very minimal equipment as well because it includes a lot of body weight. Um, but thank you for watching, guys. We are trying to get back to staying consistent. We just moved in, as you can see. It's my new office, still have a lot of things to do. Uh, so, but thank you for, for the continuous support. You guys are awesome. Hopefully you get some value out of this video and you guys go execute, go try some of these exercises and just move different, think different and become somebody different. Um, so the next video guys, stay blessed. Much love. Peace.